वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स सोशल स्टडी सब्जेक्ट ग्रेड फोर दिस वीडियो इज फॉर द एक्स्ट्रा क्वेश्चन आंसर्स ऑफ लेसन वन एंड टू विच वी हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड बी रेडी विथ योर पेन्स एंड पेंसिल्स फॉर राइटिंग द आंसर्स एंड अ नोटबुक question number 1 who are historians i repeat question number 1 who are historians answer historians are people who study history in deep historians are people who study history in deep i repeat historians are people who study history in deep question number 2 question number 2 name the three periods of history name the three periods of history question 2 name the three periods of history answer the three periods of history are the three periods of history are ancient period comma medieval period and modern period full stop the three periods of history are ancient period medieval period and modern period the three periods of history are ancient period medieval period and modern period question number 3 which time period is considered as the medieval period in indian history question number 3 which time period is considered as the medieval period in indian history answer the medieval period in indian history begins around the 8th century and lasts till the 18th century the medieval period in indian history begins around the 8th century and lasts till the 18th century the medieval period in indian history begins around the 8th century and lasts till the 18th century question number 1 2 and 3 complete now take a new page and on that you have to write the name of the second lesson that is sources of history on a new page you will write lesson number 2 sources of history again we will write extra question answers for this lesson also write the heading lesson 2 sources of history next line extra questions
क्वेश्चन नंबर वन हु आर आर्कियोलॉजिस्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन हु आर आर्कियोलॉजिस्ट ए आर सी एच ए ओ एल ओ जी आई एस टी एस आर्कियोलॉजिस्ट हु आर आर्कियोलॉजिस्ट the people who study the remains of the past are known as archaeologists the people who study the remains of the past are known as archaeologists question number 1 now next question number 2 what is excavation e x c a v a t i o n excavation question number 2 what is excavation children leave one line after every question and answer for neatness what is excavation answer the process of p r o c e w s the process of digging the ground carefully to an earth u n e a r t h u n e a r t h an earth the sources is called excavation e x c a v a t i o n excavation the process of digging the ground carefully to unearth the sources is called excavation full stop question number 3 leave a line and then write question number 3 what are inscriptions what are inscriptions i n s c r i p t i o n s inscriptions what are inscriptions answer inscriptions are inscriptions are the writings and images inscriptions are the writings and images that are carved on c a r v e d carved c a r v e d carved on hard surfaces S U R F A C E S surfaces. What are inscriptions? Answer: Inscriptions are the writings and images that are carved on hard surfaces. Full stop. Leave a line. Next question. Question number four. Question number four. What is a biography? What is a biography? B I O G R A P H Y. Biography. B I O G R A P H Y. Answer. a biography is 
a biography is the story written about a person a biography is the story written about a person by someone else full stop i repeat question 4 what is a biography answer a biography is the story written about a person by someone else question number 5 what is an autobiography a u t o auto b i o bio g r a p h y autobiography a u t o b i o g r a p h y autobiography answer an autobiography is an autobiography is writing of writing of the experiences e x p e r i e n c e s experiences e x p e r i e n c e s experiences of the writer himself or herself autobiography is writing of the experiences of the writer himself or herself these question answers children all you have to whatever i have given for lesson number 1 2 all you have to maintain it in a notebook write it down in neat and good handwriting